Welcome to DWBI Adda channel. Please subscribe for latest training videos. Welcome back everyone. So in this video lecture we will be checking some more visualizations. Okay, so let's start with an empty dashboard. Uh, from the sample data we will select any one of them like search console data the one we selected in previous video so add this to the report and on adding this it will show you okay now we will check some other visualizations so the next one is time series so time series is basically visualization where you ex examine something with respect to time like if you want to check that in this time period i want to check my sales that if i have uh, an e-commerce store and i want to check the rest of the sales as compared to the december because in december usually the sales are increased because of the christmas and because of the new year so the sales are quite high so sometimes people want to check the number of sales the number of items which are sold on those dates so uh, for these these types of data analysis time series charts time series bar charts or line charts are used okay so it's quite simple on creating this visualization it will automatically show us some data with default parameters like the okay so you need date attribute here which is compulsory because you want to analyze something with respect to date so the date is and so date is a compulsory attribute here rest is the another metric you want to visualize like you want to check the url clicks or if you want to check the ctr or anything okay so here you can see that uh, I have added two matrices you can add one or you can add multiple okay so let's view this uh, since the impressions are quite high as compared to the URL CTR and URL clicks, so it is showing us the straight line in case of uh, clicks and URL CTR but the impressions are quite high so it is showing us in this way so it is quite useful visualization in order to check the number in order to check any data with respect to date so this is quite simple visualization but quite interesting other visualization in time series is okay sparkline sparkline is the same but it won't show you the x-axis or y-axis people don't use it don't uh, like it because it's not showing us the actual xy labels so people don't recommend using this one and last smooth timeline so it is same as the first one but the only difference here is okay so let me show you the difference um, okay so both of these are same but the only difference is it is uh, quite smooth that it is it don't show us the spikes it don't show us the uh, edges but here the edges are quite visible it shows the uh, the, second, the last one shows us the smooth charts so let's view these charts so th all of these are giving us the same information but quite in uh, different ways it is showing us the line chart it is showing us the smooth line chart and this is the one not recommended uh, okay so spark line chart okay so let's play with these things one thing we could do like the one we did previously is you can add date range if you want to check the number of clicks the number of anything the number of sales if the data, depending upon the data you have you can uh, apply date range that in this particular date range show me the following stats so it will show you the stats okay click on the view button now you can click on this date range and if you want to okay so if we want to check the stats of this year so we'll simply click on this year and apply okay so this is the month of this is the second month of this year so it is showing us stats of the till the second month if you want to check the stats of let's suppose um, last year and click on apply it will show us the complete stats of last year like it is showing us that the highest number of url clicks are on may or i think it is something here may 9 2018 like 938 clicks so these all these three line charts are same but they are presented in uh, some different way okay so we can also add some filter control like you want to check the number of let's say the number of url clicks from country 
okay so let's drag drop the country metric here and okay sorry so dimension is set as the country now if we click on the view and if you want to check that the if you want to select the number of URL clicks only from United States okay so it is showing us the number of clicks from United States in um, this date range okay so I think it won't allow me to add multiple filter controls or multiple date range okay so uh, the country is United States and the date range is this one so it is showing me the data of URL clicks on this date range and with this country so it's quite useful like if you want to if you have data of some e-commerce store and you want to check the number of sales in this month with respect to from this country or you want to check something similar to that so this is quite useful okay so if let me check if I can add one more filter control like if I have added and device category okay so I can select um, this quarter date range or any date range of my choice like last quarter click on apply the device category is only desktop and the country is only United States okay so this is the great thing I think that you can check uh, you can uh, further subdivide your comparison or you can further look dig deeper into the visualization that on this date with this device this country have the number of clicks this one on this specific month so this is quite useful information like you can represent this thing to your boss or your uh, classmates that this is the data I have figured out usually call uh, people usually call it as ED exploratory data analysis uh, in case of big data uh, you want you first to follow the very first step is to analyze the data explore the data find some insights out of it so you can simply upload your data set on Google Data Studio and apply all these visualizations to, to, to check the behavior of your data like you can say that the in the month of November the number of clicks are the maximum so there might be some uh, useful stuff on your website on the month of November so you can upload the similar stuff on your website to get more number of clicks in near future or in any case you want so these are quite vis uh, simple but interesting visualizations I just show you okay so you can also uh, set the styling of these charts like you can okay so you can reverse the axis direction in this way okay so it is inverted similarly you can reverse the x direction okay so uh, since uh, now it is showing us data from January to February but if I reverse the data it is showing me in, in opposite manner that January is on the last and February on the so okay some other features are you can also uh, represent it in bar graph so this is also uh, quite useful to represent your data in bar graph it is showing you some more uh, concrete information against the URL clicks or you can also stick with the bar one with a line chart cumulative so it is showing you the cumulative that uh, cumulative means with every passing month or with every passing day it is adding all the previous data so on the last day all the previous data have been added so it is showing you that, that till February 10th the number of clicks are almost 14 or 15,000 so this is cumulative you can show points uh, points are also useful it will show you the uh, exact point where the on the start of the month on the mid of the month on the end of the month or I think similar points show data labels you can also uh, show the data label means that the actual value at that point okay so the trend line is let's say exponential so it is showing us the exponential trend line here 
but we don't usually use that so okay so general missing data limit to zero these are all like line breaks you can add but for now we don't have any missing data so it's not showing us the uh, line breaks x is y x is show x is title so x is title url clicks appear next to the chart so you uh, people usually use the legends or people usually usually use some uh, comments to show the data but this is quite easy you can simply click and show the data label log scale show x axis title you can also show the x axis title, title date so now it started appearing here okay so grid you can set the grid color or you can set the okay so these are the axis colors grid color also you can set that as per you need okay so these are now appearing in grids let's set the font to this so the font has been changed but that's not recommended because in case of formal uh, presentations you don't use fancy uh, fancy uh, writings or fancy colors okay so background and borders these are things you can play with okay so I think that's looking quite bad but you can explore these options legends okay so currently legend okay so the legend is showing here you can view this so this is the legend the URL clicks it is showing you that the line is the URL clicks uh, this indicates that what the data is all about and what the data is showing you so this is the line chart i think that's all for this lecture okay so the font for the uh, description is also changed which, which looks good but not recommended in case of your formal presentations or formal meetings i think that's all from line charts you can also set the properties for these filter controls or these date range like you can set the styles okay so date range picker let's set it to the red and it increases its font to okay 24 header you can also set the header color okay so the writing you can set the writing as per your need like this background and borders so you can set the background color as this one you can set the border color as you can say this okay so these are all the variations you can apply and you can check the effect of all these variations so since i am just showing you the use of these features so i am not taking care of the uh, look and feel of these visualizations but when you uh, use these visualizations in your reports in your presentations to try to be very well organized very well uh, structured so that you won't feel embarrassed in front of any of your audience so i think that's all from these uh, visualizations for today's lecture we'll continue with next visualizations in next lecture stay tuned